here and welcome back to another Dreamlight Valley Speed Bills. So this time we are in the plaza. As you can see, it's been a little bit since we built in the plaza, you know, and I really wanted to fill in this side of it, like next to my Scrooge store. Um, and I also wanted it to be foliagey, pretty much a park, really. Uh, so that's what we're doing this time. Uh, I'm gonna share with you a little park I made on this side of the plaza. Uh, I wanted to have access to those mining nodes and I wanted to include a bit of a cooking corner and just make it nice and cute with loads of flowers and relaxing and stuff. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this speed build. Thank you so, so much for watching and as usual, I'll see you guys at the end of it.
guys here we are with the final results thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video i truly appreciate it give me your suggestions and feedbacks in the comment section down below and let me know what you thought of this build i uh i was quite happy with the final results to be completely honest it was quite tricky to make it like as symmetrical as i possibly could uh to like make it like match the vision i had in my head but i was very pleased with it i included a couple of the picnic uh uh, blankets as you saw i love this little cooking corner that i made uh with a mix of the fencing and the uh trellises with a cooking stove um i didn't include a crafting table but i guess you could always swap that table next to the grill for a crafting table if you wanted to to be fair i managed to find the um the beautiful clock tower that's like all blue and gold um, and I thought it would actually fit quite nicely <laughs> uh, centered with that gazebo in there so I was like why not just include it next to the stall it looks kind of nice and yeah obviously like I said I really wanted to include Christoph's stall uh, somewhere just to make some nice little fitting quarter for it and uh, yeah I managed to like nicely cheat around all the little corners that were not exactly symmetrical so I was happy with that uh, but here we are in the little walkthrough section those picnic blankets I absolutely adore I do really wish that we could lie down on them uh, the little cooking corner with a picnic table put some books and a little bit of clutter on there and make you feel lived in uh, Mirabelle's already enjoying it I see um, I'm really happy with how the central gazebo piece turned out with the flowers around it uh, and the big plants uh, in the wicker baskets as well I just really like it Funny enough, that fountain, the fountain we get from Donald's Quest, I believe, is the only one that actually fits under gazebos. I tried every single fountain and that was the only one. Um, there we go, you saw me access the mining nodes uh, real quick. I was uh, very uh, intentionally leaving those unblocked so I can access them. You saw Christoph's stall next to the golden blue tower, I love it. Uh, the little gazebo with my usual setup with the little benches and the fire pit. And that's pretty much it for this one, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you again so, so much for watching. I love you all. And as usual, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!